In the last video, I showed you how to safety the butterfly needle, but I forgot to show you how to safety the multi-sample needle. So I'm gonna show you that now. The, this is the safety. Um, of course, after your draw, you're not gonna have the cap on. When you're going to take the cap off, sometimes it, it wants to turn the whole thing, sometimes it doesn't. If it's gonna turn the whole thing, grab it here, but make sure you don't get anywhere near the needle. So you wanna twist and pull the cap off. Again, try not to jerk it because your hand will want to automatically go back and you could accidentally poke yourself. So when the safety is facing upward, your bevel is also facing upward. Um, you're gonna insert the needle, you're gonna fill your tubes, um, you're gonna pop your tourniquet, apply the gauze, pull the needle, and then as soon as it's out of the arm, you're going to safety it. So this one, you can still be holding on to the gauze um, and asking the patient to hold, the subject to hold, and you can safety at the same time. The thing about safetying with these kind of safeties, they are designed to be done with one hand. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. There's a, there is some uh, lines down here again at the bottom that will keep your finger from slipping. You want your thumb all the way down here so you will not, if you reach over with your other hand to safety it, that is a safety violation. You will only use the hand that's holding the needle. You're gonna put your thumb here and you're just gonna push it up until it clicks. Once it clicks, again, it is safetyed. So there's no way this needle is gonna come out of that holder and there's no way you can accidentally poke yourself.